Welcome to Avoiding the Literature Landslide, Part 3, Finding Full Text at Brown and Beyond. Our objectives for this module are to find ebooks that are not in our major library collections like Clinical Key or Access Medicine, to learn the best ways to get to full text provided at Brown using databases such as PubMed and Google Scholar or our eJournals list and browsing, and what to do when we don't have the article you need. Let's start by looking for ebooks. To find any electronic book or our print books, you can use the main search box found on any library page. You can search by the title, the keyword, etc. I'm going to use our core health sciences resources page for this module. In previous modules, we talked about resources such as Access Medicine and Dynamed and Clinical Key and some of the books that might be found in these resources. But if you can't remember where Harrison's is or where Fairies is, or if there's a title that you know is not in one of our main collections, you can use the search box. Up here on the right of this page, you can just type in your keywords. If I am looking for the DSM-5, I type in DSM-5 or DSMV and go to search. This pulls up a page containing any match for what I typed in. So all online books that might have DSM-5 somewhere in them, journal articles that discuss the DSM-5, videos, computer files, places on the website. But at the top, there's a best bet for DSM-5. So for some things that we know people are looking for on a regular basis, we've called these best bets so they can be easily findable with our web service. I go to DSM-5. I click on full text available from Psychiatry Online. I log in with my Brown ID and password. And here I am at the DSM. Going back to our main health sciences resource page, maybe you don't know the exact title, but you know that you need to find a book on epidemiology. Again, type your keyword in, hit search. There is an item type called epidemiology, but from looking, glancing at this, I don't know whether this refers to one of the books or perhaps a journal. So I'm going to go to what I know I'm looking for, the book epidemiology. And I do see that we have it electronically, and I can go to the electronic view. And here it is in our ProQuest eBook Central. Books such as Harrison's are also considered best bets. So if I typed Harrison's in here, that would bring me to the listing, which would then point me to Access Medicine for my resource. So the box at the top can be used to look for any electronic book. And if we have the item in print, that will also show up in the display. Moving on to PubMed. When you want to search PubMed, if you're going to be looking to retrieve full text right away, you should use or bookmark the link found on any Brown University library page, such as if you search for it as a best bet or if you follow the link from one of these pages. You can also bookmark this link that contains the code for Brown University within the URL. That code for Brown University tells PubMed that you should be seeing the Find It icon in any article that you retrieve. So for instance, let's search antibiotics or amoxicillin and acute bronchitis. We're going to select the first item in our list. If the publisher provides a full text link, it will appear here on the right. You should also always see Brown's Find It icon, and you may also see full text links from Lifespan Libraries. If we do subscribe to this journal via the publisher, you should be able to use this link and that will bring you to the full text of the journal. However, if there is no full text link provided by the publisher, or if you click the full text link provided by the publisher and you do not find yourself at the journal website, perhaps you're asked for your credit card number or it tells you there's, that we have no subscription, you want to go to the Find It link. Find It shows up for all records in PubMed 
and it will tell you what the full text options are. In this case, we do have this article available online through Ovid. And here we are at the full text option and the PDF is over here on the right. If you're not on campus, you can use the VPN to give yourself the campus IP and in that case the publisher's link may also work. But if all options fail, use Find It to see what your options are. Now we're going to try to retrieve an article that we don't have a subscription to. I'm going to search PubMed for Vampires and Garlic. I pull up two articles. And a quick note, I can see this second article is in a foreign language. I know that because the title is in square brackets. And as I page down, I do see that this article is in Norwegian. I want to retrieve the article anyway. So I go to the abstract. I see the Find It icon, but I see no full text links provided by any publishers. When I go to Find It, it says the article couldn't be located in library collections. At this point, I can request from another library. And if I were to click Submit, that would generate an interlibrary loan request. When the article comes in, I would get an email direct me, directing me to log in to our Iliad system so that I can download the full text of the article. Generally, Iliad requests or interlibrary loan requests are filled within one to three days. I have gotten article requests in less than 24 hours though. Next, we'll look quickly at Google Scholar. Google Scholar does allow you to customize it so that you can set Brown as your institution under Settings, Library Links. When I do a quick search in Google Scholar, I do often find free full text options, but note that there's nothing here that says Brown University. This tells me that Google Scholar does not realize that I'm on the Brown campus. It probably will recognize links from publishers and other free options, but it might not know all of our, all of our options to get full text. I can set Google Scholar to recognize me. I go to the top left to the hamburger. I go down to settings, then to library links. And I note that I don't have any institutions noted here. So I'll search for Brown University and select Brown University, find it, and click Save. And now in my search results, I see Find It at Brown full text. This will show up for any journals that we have a subscription to. Finally, if you would like to browse specific journals, you can use our eJournal list to read those journals. Or you can set up an account in browsing and download the app to keep up with the top journals that you want to keep up with. Let's see what that looks like. First, from our Core Health Sciences resource page, if I page down, I do see a list of Brown's top journals. These are the journals that people usually are searching for when they use this, the library search box. So if I want to see what's new in JAMA, I follow the link. This brings us to our electronic journal list, and then I just go to JAMA from here. Again, if I'm sitting on campus and I were to just go, to, go directly to JAMA, it probably would recognize me, but the list will help you if you are off campus. And this will see, this will show you the most recent articles. If the journal that you're looking for does not show up in this list, you can use the search box at the top of the page. Or you can go to the Brown eJournal list, which brings you back to this search box, and you can search for the title of the journal. But we do have another option. From the Core Health Sciences resource page and from the Clinical Resources page, there's a link on the left with a rotating selection of journal titles. This leads us to a resource called Browsing. Let's go to Explore Journals. Browsing is a resource that Brown subscribes to that lets you set up bookshelves with the journals that you read regularly. All you do is create an account, set your account to recognize you as a Brown University user. To do that, you just provide your Brown ID and password. And then you can start setting up your bookshelf. 
if I go to my bookshelf, I can see I have five journals set up here. If I want to see what's new in academic medicine, this will give me the newest table of contents. If I want to see this article by Gruppen et al, I just go to it. It opens in another tab, and in this case, brings me directly to the PDF of the article. I can also save the article to read at a different time. Just by going to Save to My Articles, it will pull it in my general collection, and I click Done. At a later time, if I want to see what's in my articles, I go to My Articles, and here are the articles that I've saved. To customize your bookshelf, all you need to do is go to the Browsing Library, and you have a couple of options. You can browse the biomedical and health sciences journals, maybe starting with the core medical title list, to add specific titles to your bookshelf. Or you can go to the Browsing Library and search by title. I'm going to search for Lancet, gives me Lancet HIV as an option. So I'm going to add Lancet HIV to my bookshelf just by clicking the title and then adding to my bookshelf. And there it is. Because I'm logged in with my account, this will automatically sync to the browsing app, which is also on my phone. To get the app, you just go to the App Store or to Google Play, download Browsing, and again, select Brown University as your institution or log in with the account that you created on the web version. This concludes this series of modules. Thank you.